Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the Unified Modeling Languages Class Diagram or simply UML Class Diagram. A class diagram shows a set of classes, interfaces and collaboration and their relationship between the classes. A class diagram is simply the relationship between one or more classes associated with a particular program. The most common diagram found in the modeling of object-oriented system is a class diagram and this class diagram addresses the static design or view of a system. The class diagram that include the active classes address the static process view of a system. Simply, a class can be represented by using a class diagram with a three-chamber rectangle. Topmost box has pre-designed to mention the class name. The middle chamber represents the attributes or data members and the lowest one has the behavior or functions or methods related to a class. So the top region represents the class name, the second region represents the attribute and the bottom region represents the method or functions associated with a particular class. So for example, let us consider a class called animal. So animal is the class name, thus the name animal is represented in the topmost region. The second place or the second compartment comprises of the different attributes. So as we mentioned, these attributes are significant piece of data containing the values that describe each instances of that particular class. Those attributes mention the different behavioral values associated with a class. Here for an animal, every animal has a particular name, they has particular age, they has weight, they has a particular number or ID or something related to that. So for example, we are considering the attributes for this animal class as name, ID, age and weight. And finally, in the last compartment, this comprises of the behavioral pattern of that particular class. For an animal class, we are mentioning the different functions like is mammal of. So this function mentions whether the given animal is a mammal or not a mammal. And second one is the get weight of function which mentions or which calculates or which reads the weight associated with a particular animal. So these three compartments or these three regions mention a class properties and attributes associated with a particular set of object. So next comes the term visibility. When we are mentioning the term visibility, the visibility means how we can access those attributes as well as the methods associated with a class. So as we all know, in an object-oriented language like CPP or Java, we can mention different access specifiers like public, private, protected access specifiers a public access specifier means these particular set of values can be accessed by any object throughout the program. But in the case of a private member, those private data can be accessed only by that class as well as only by the class derived from that class. That is a private data can be accessed by a class as well as by a child class only. In the case of a protected member, the protected data can only be accessed by that class only. Private data members, these private data members are represented by mentioning a minus symbol. A public member can be mentioned or represented by a plus symbol as well as a protected member can be represented by a hash symbol. So if we want to represent a data with a private value, those data can be pre-assigned with a minus sign. So let us consider one more example. So we are considering an example called student. The class name is student. So it is represented in the topmost box. And the different attributes associated with this student is name, ID, contact number and department. So here the name, ID, contact number and department. These attributes are represented as a private member. Thus, all the attributes has a prefix minus sign. But in the case of methods, we can see three different methods. The first method is update phone number of methods. Second one is semester marks of and third one is exam registration of methods. So these three different functions or method has separate two type of access specifiers. 
The plus sign represents the public access specified. That is the update phone number of as well as the exam registration of method is a public method. So it can be accessed by any of the method or any of the object associated with this particular program. But in the case of the semester Markov method, this method is a private method. Thus, it can be accessed only by that class as well as a class immediately deriving from this class student. So this is how we are mentioning the access specifiers or visibility pattern for a class. So my dear students, now let us consider the object diagram. So as we all know, object is an instance of a class. Similarly, an object diagram is a subset of a class diagram. So here in the object diagram, we can see a rectangle with the two compartments. The topmost compartment represents the particular name of the class. And in the case of second compartment, this compartment represents the values associated with that particular object. So here, let us consider our first example. Our first case is we are considering a student with a name Shias, ID 3321715102929, as well as department BCA. So this student named Shias is the first object associated with this particular class. So let us say this object as yes one. So now we are considering a second object. The name of second object is Abhijit with a particular ID and the department is BCA. And we are considering a third example with a student named Saif and particular ID with a department BCA. And we are considering our fourth object with a Sharon with a some ID values and the department as BCA. And the fifth object is Alan and the sixth object is Vishnu. So here we are considering six different objects associated with the student class. So here we can say that the first object can be represented as ES1, second as ES2, ES3, etc. up to ES6 objects. These object names are initialized by the program or the programmer at the time of calling or executing that particular class by the object values. So the values of these particular objects changes from object to object depend upon the values associated with each and every object. So we can say that a object diagram is a subset of a class diagram with the common attributes but the values of the attributes changes from object to object. So dear students, in this lecture we had discussed a class diagram. So as we mentioned, a class diagram shows us a set of classes, interfaces and collaboration with other classes and the relationship between the classes. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly write down this assignment question. A question is, uh, write notes on class diagram. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the term relationship. So this relationship deals with the relation between the different classes. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.